Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2020 Battle Series here on the channel. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and we're finally here. We're into Series 7. The Crown Tundra has dropped, and with it, along comes a bunch of brand new legendary Pokemon and some new toys for us to play with, including those legendary Galarian Birds and the new Regis. So we've got lots of new things to explore throughout this new series, and it's really hard for us to decide where to start off with. Now, I have been working on a Regigigas team, uh, and I was planning on kicking off with it but it's not quite right so I want to work on it a little bit before featuring it on the channel and putting a rental team up for you guys hence the reason why we're kicking off with Galarian Moltres today as you can see on your screen now Galarian Moltres being used quite a lot obviously the weakness policy on there to boost its uh, attack power and it's got berserk as well so when you get below 50% it gets another special attack boost making it absolutely crazy when it does get the kind of momentum started in battles we've got a support and cast alongside it with Tapu Fini, Cartana uh, Assault Vest, Garchomp, uh, Incineroar, and Thunderous Therian form. So Thunderous Therian form, a little bit of an interesting one. It's more of a supportive role on this team, but I feel like it can provide us with a little bit of speed control with the Thunder Waves and Taunt as well to stop opposing things setting up. And obviously the Electric Stab, really nice in this format in general anyway. So we've got our first opponent of the episode, and as always, there will be a rental code at the end of the episode of this team. There'll be a poker paste down in the description below. And if you do enjoy this sort of content, please remember to drop a like on the video if you're new to the channel do consider subscribing for more of this sort of content make sure you turn on the notification bell as well so you get the notifications when these episodes do go up we've got a lot of teams to get through in the next couple of weeks so it's going to be a lot of content for you guys to enjoy and a lot of teams for you to use as well um, and leave your comments down below i'd love to hear what your thoughts are on the new format and what you've been enjoying playing so far as um, we're, we're very in the very early stages of it obviously as well but our first opponent today is playing a team of Celestila, Glastria, the Reggie Alecki, uh, Urshifu, Tapu Fini, and Cresselia. Cresselia, there we go. Um, so uh, pretty much mostly new Pokemon, uh, excluding the Urshifu there. We've got Trick Room mode on the team with the Cresselia. That's probably going to support the Glastria more than anything. Uh, so we've got to consider Ally Switch there as well, unfortunately. Um, and then we've got other speed control. You've just got the fast mode, the Reggie Alecki, uh, natural speed like speedy mode there with the Urshifu um, and then max airstream potentially on things like Celesteela that we need to watch out for as well okay well we need to pick pretty sharpish because we've not got very much time to do this um, and I think we'll bring Moltres in the back and I'm gonna have to just lock in very quickly here because we've run out of time talked way too much through that team preview and my opponent's team but i guess that the part is that we talk through my opponent's team what the threats are there we know what to expect or at least what kind of to expect so we'll see what my opponent brings um i feel like we didn't bring tapu finny and tapu finny is always one of those pokemon that's always nice to bring especially with the incineral we do have that nice fire water grass core on the team as well which does uh, help us out a bunch but we do see tapu finny and the Urshifu come up for my opponent. So, I mean, it's not a bad lead from us at all. Uh, we've got offensive pressure onto the type of Finny straight away with Fake Out, Thunderbolt into that slot. And uh, we could even double up into the Urshifu if we wanted because I feel like the type of Finny's so heavily threatened right now uh, it would make sense for us to go after the Urshifu. But is that a bit too obvious? I don't know. Um... At least we get the Intimidate onto it, which is also nice. I think we're probably better off just going for a Thunderbolt into the Finny, honestly, and maybe going for a Parting Shot into the Urshifu, because I imagine Urshifu either to protect or either switch out here. So if we can get a Parting Shot into that slot, anything coming in, we'll be able to put down to minus one. Okay, the Finny's going to... Um, okay. So we could have actually just doubled into the Urshifu here, going for the close combat. Okay, we'll proc a Berry here, which is fine. Um, so we'll be able to put it down to at least minus one, well, minus two after the Intimidate. So it's not going to be doing too much. We'd still need to be careful around the Wicked Blow because it can still do a bunch of damage. Uh, Finny protecting itself here, obviously, from that Thunderbolt. Probably worried about the Wild Charge there, but uh, and that's a more common Thunderous, I'd say. More, maybe the more physical variants here are, are a little bit more um, prevalent in the format at the moment. What are we going to bring in? Maybe the Moltres. Maybe Moltres is a nice switch in here. I mean, Garchomp isn't bad, but Moltres does put on a lot of pressure onto the Urshifu as well, you know? And we could double up into the Finny this next turn as well if we, if we feel like that's that's the better play. Um, but also, we could double up into the Urshifu as well, you know? Um, see what my opponent's got to bring in, potentially. <clears throat> 
They've got no electric immunity. I mean, they could bring in Cresselia in one of those slots, but I mean, if they do, I'm probably better off getting rid of the Urshifu here, in all honesty. But I really feel like the Finny is the biggest problem out of everything because it does threaten Moltres pretty hard as well. We'll go after the Finny here. We'll double into it. We'll go Max Airstream and Thunderbolt. It's going to switch. Okay, that's still fine. It means it puts Moltres in a great position this next turn. Um, <laughs> I wonder how much this damage is going to do to the Regieleki though because Regieleki is not the bulkiest of Pokemon. Let's just say that. Um, and Thunderous should outspeed it after an Airstream boost. It's just whether or not we can take a Wicked Blow. Quite wicked Blow. But the Urshifu might protect you, you know. It's going to be, it's going to feel very threatened. Yeah, so there's a Protect from the Urshifu. So it screams at us through that Protect. Um, so we get a free turn into the Regieleki here. And I'd imagine, you know, this is going to be... I think it'll probably be in Thunderbolt range this next turn, in all honesty. Mm, probably not, probably not. Um, and the Moltres definitely isn't going to be able to knock it out this next turn. But we can double into the Urshifu for sure with another Airstream, and then we will get the jump on, unless they got Electro Web. But if they got Electro Web... Um, hmm. Just whether they set screens up with Regieleki, that's the other thing. They could set screens up. I'm going to double into Urshifu because I just feel like, yeah, they can proc our weakness policy if they want. Oh, they just gone straight for the Thunderbolt. Wow, it's specs. Okay, that's that's not so good. But we will get rid of the Urshifu here. As long as, we, yeah, we're not going to see a uh, Sucker Punch. And that might have been the play from my opponent to get some uh, like last ditch damage off. So we get a Berserk and we get a weakness policy proct as well, which is amazing because now uh, with another Airstream, we will be able to outspeed the Regieleki with our Moltres for sure. Because that should put our speed stat up to about 280, I think around, no, no, it'll put our speed stat up to three, uh, two, six, two, six, eight, I think, which actually, and if they are jolly, then we still don't get the jump on it, but Thunderous will. Okay, well, we'll just have to see. Glastria coming in. Hmm. Um. Okay, well, they're probably gonna max, aren't they? Uh, it's, it's really, 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 really difficult now because um, Regilecki, if it does outspeed Moltres, and I should, it's so early on in the format, I'm not like 100% sure <laughs> whether we're gonna be able to do it or not. Uh, and we have to attack into the Glastria, like in all honesty. Let's go Thunderbolt into Regieleki and let's go for the Darkness. The Darkness, hope that we can get the, the Glastria. That's what, that's what we've got to do. We've got to go for it. Okay, well, they're maxing something. What is it going to be? It's Master Ball. It's the Glastria. They're going to max that. Okay, well, we are plus three. Like, if we get the Max Darkness into it, it's going to do a good chunk. I don't expect it to pick up the Knockout, but it will do enough for something to come in in the late game and clean up. Although we probably will lose Thunder S here. No, it's... Oh, no, it's all right. It's all right. Will this be enough? It's enough. Okay, Thunder S done, done its job. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. And if Moltres gets left alone here, we can probably two-shot this Glastria. Okay, I'm getting a bit too... bit too excited. But half, it's not bad. It's not bad. It really isn't. But we are going to lose something here, for sure. What are we going to lose? Yeah, the Moltres. And honestly, I kind of don't mind that. I kind of don't mind that because we've got Incineroar to come in next. And they got Tapu Fini. Mm, it's going to be very tricky for us. Like, especially with that chilling there. That's the problem. I think we've got to double. I think we've got to double Glastria here with a Flare Blitz and a Thunderbolt and hope that the minus one special defense that it's it's got is enough for the Thunderbolt to do damage because I just think the Tapu Fini is going to have to protect here. <coughs> let's hope. Let's hope. This is a, 
enough of a combination. I don't know if it will be. It might be. It should be. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. But knowing what the damage from that Moltres did, I really don't feel like it's going to be. Oh, Flare Blitz is nowhere near going to get it, is it? Muddy Water coming out. Oh, they're not even protecting. I mean, it, it makes sense for them not to. Incineral takes it. We get it! There we go, that's what we like to see. It was enough. Okay, now we're in a good position. Now we're in a beautiful position. Because Thunderous, Thunderous has done amazing here. It is a support Thunderous, but like it goes to show, like, I can still do a really good job. Um, okay, so I think Thunderbolt and uh, Earthquake are gonna be enough, or Stomping Tantrum, should say, because we've got the Assault Vescar Chomp, will be enough to actually get the Finny here. So that'll be ideal. I mean, we can't even poison jab it, to be honest. But we're better stomping. Go on, stomp, stomp, stomp. Because Thunderbolt's going to do at least 50%. We could even rock slide if we want to go for the flinches, but I mean, we'll take a moon blast. It's not. It's a very bulky finny. That's the thing. You can tell from the, the, the muddy water damage. Wow. Okay. And we don't even need to worry about what the finny's going to do because this combination is going to just deal with it pretty easily. So, very good game to my opponent. And a nice way for us to kick off today. Uh, at least we got to see the, the Moltres do some work. And it was against a pretty scary team. The Reggie Alecki was, was, was tricky to deal with for sure. Playing a team of Grimmsnarl, Reggie Drago, Dusclops, Hatterene, Dragonite, and Arcanine. So, what is going on here? We've definitely got some Trick Room stuff going on. Obviously, with the Hatterene and the Dusclops. That's definitely a mode there. Um, and pff, outside of that, I don't really know. We're probably looking at like Thunder Wave support, maybe screen support from the Grim Snarl to support things like the Reggie Drago, the Dragonite, and then you've got the Intimidate support there with the Arcanine. Um, now, what do we want to go for? Because I feel, well, Tapu Finny here is very good in this matchup. Obviously, Reggie Drago, one of the drawbacks with it is it doesn't get very much coverage, so it's a nice Pokemon to have um access to so i think maybe are we gonna look at mm, we could bring moltres up top i'm kind of tempted to bring okay we'll bring incineral finny it's a solid lead i think we'll bring moltres in the back and potentially cartana is not bad here especially for the hat especially with the sash it gives us a little bit of room to play around it um but also Garchomp, not bad. But I'd probably the Cartana are the best out of all three between the Garchomp and the Thunderous here. Thunderous not going to be too useful, uh, in all honesty. Like, we can't taunt the Hatterene. Uh, Eerie Impulse, we can't because of the Magic Bounce. We can obviously get away with those sort of disruption moves on Dusclops, but um, I don't think Dusclops is going to be too much of an issue, especially if we've got Moltres in the team. So it's going to be... It's going to be interesting to see how we go forward with this one. Um, obviously, we need to watch out for the Dragon Energy, which is like the new Dragon-type eruption move from Reggie Drago, which is also boosted by its its new ability as well. Um, but obviously, Tapu Fini helps out a bunch with that, with the uh, the Misty Terrain making and kind of weakening that attack straight off the bounce. So we will lead off with Incineral and uh, Tapu Fini. I think we've got a, a pretty easy time going for a Calm Mind here. We don't really need to worry too much about the Reggie Drago at all. Um, and we could potentially parting shot out onto that slot because it's so threatened right now. I don't think it's really going to be doing too much. And we might just see a Trick Room from the Dusclops trying to maybe set up a board condition for maybe Hat that's going to come in here. But it is going to be Arcanine, so that's super fine as well. I mean, this team, generally, when you look at my opponent's team, does struggle quite hard against uh, against the Carmine type of Finny variants. So I don't really know what they've got in a way to uh, to get around that. Okay, so we're going to see an ally stretch switch <laughs> straight off the bat, starting this format as we left off in Series 6. <sighs> ally switch, eh? It's, uh, it's going to be fun and games. It's going to be fun and games. So we'll get the parting shot. I mean, it just it allows us to just re reposition our board. We can maybe even get something like Cortana in now just to put a little bit of pressure on. We could get the Moltres in, in all honesty. Moltres is going to be quite a nice Pokemon to throw in now. We could even... We've got room to Nasty Plot if we want. Um, or just go for Max Darkness into uh, the Dusclops and kind of double down into that one. Uh, I am scared of the Trick Room being set up, in all honesty. Um, 
So going for Max Darkness and maybe a Muddy Water isn't the worst play. That combination should get rid of the Dusclops and, and get rid of the Trick Room here. Um, so I think we'll go for it. We have got the weakness policy. We've got the option to go for a nasty plot. But I feel like if we go a nasty plot now, we give my opponent the opportunity to set the trick room up, get the hat onto the field, and start doing a lot of disruption. Now, really, for Cortana to kind of win this game, we just need to get rid of the Arcanine. From that point, Cortana should have a pretty easy time. This is not going to really worry about the, the Reggie Drago. So let's see. Oh, it's not nowhere near enough damage. We need the nasty plot. This is the thing. I've got quite a bulky Moltres. Um, I don't think mine like so that the muddy water way plus one. They're minus one, so it's kind of like a plus two almost. But it's not going to be enough. We get rid of the Arcanine, which is great. But we're going to see the trick room set up here, which isn't ideal. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, well. The other option on Tapu Fini is you can always kind of like not run Protect and run something like Taunt. It gives you a nice option to shut down situations like this. Now the Reggie Drago are going to come back in, but again, I'm not really seeing what kind of pressure it's putting on my opponent because we can just go for the Max Darkness again into... I mean, they're probably going to max the Reggie Drago in all honesty. Um... Let's do this. Let's Moonblast the Dusclop slot in case we see an ally switch, which I would imagine we may do. Oh, Memento. Huh. Okay. That's not so good. That's a nice That's a nice little trick there. Uh, but they are going to take a Moonblast for their troubles, even though we are down to... So we'll put our, uh, us down to minus one on our Tapu Fini special attack. Ultra is going to be able to take that because it's just a tank anyway. Uh, the Moonblast should still do a chunk of damage and probably enough to put it in range for a Max Darkness to actually take the Reggie Drago down. Um, and then my opponent's got one Pokemon left, which is most likely going to be that Hatterene, I'd imagine. Okay, Reggie Drago actually taking that, um, surprisingly. This is the thing with Moltres. It needs the Berserk uh, or it needs the, the Weakness Policy Boost um, to actually... Oh, it's Dragonite. <laughs> okay, well, this just got way way easier um we probably want to max guard here and i think maybe muddy water or we could calm mind to be honest and let's have a look could calm mind it breaks the multi-scale that's a thing mm. actually we'll just calm mind here just to get our special attack back up in a fit state we'll see what my opponent's going to max. It's probably going to be the Dragonite. Is it going to be the Dragonite? It has to be the Dragonite. There's no point of maxing Drago. He had so low health. It'll be interesting to see what the Dragonite starts chucking out. And Dragonite's not something to kind of underestimate as well. It's got such a deep move pool that can learn so many things. And it can hit pretty hard. I'm kind of hoping it's going to go after the Moltres here. So there's the Dragonite. And she doesn't affect Tapu Fini. And Max Rockfall. Is this into no it's into finny okay yeah it still does a respectable amount of damage um but i mean we do have the next turn we got the switch into to incineral we're going to be super fine we can get the the dragonite down to minus one um take care of that reggie drago because it's dragon dragon energy is doing literally zilch now anyway um, we didn't really get m the most out of Moltres here, to be honest, which is a little bit of a shame, but I mean, it happens sometimes. You're not always going to have games where everything kind of performs super well. Uh, okay, do we, yeah, let's just go for a Moonblast into Dragonite. The problem is, if it's got weakness policy, that could be a bit tricky. Um, But the sand chip's going to take down the Drago this next turn, so I'm not really too worried about attacking into that. Like I said, the Dragon Energy not going to do too much damage. It could go for Draco or something into Incineroar, but again, we do have the Misty Terrain up, so it is weakening that attack, so we don't need to worry a great deal about it. Um, 
And we should take this now with the Intimidate onto Finny. This should just proc our Wiki Berry. All the critters. No crit? Wow, big damage. Oh, of course they got Inner Focus. Ah, okay. That's why we should have, um, yeah, this is this bad. That's bad. Yeah, Inner Focus. I'm assuming that they got multi-scale, but they definitely haven't. It doesn't make sense with the Rockfall. Um, now the Drago going down here. We should still be all right, though, I think. Uh, dealing with the, the Dragonite. We've got a few turns of Trick Room left. Um, but other than that, we should be fine, I'd imagine. We can bring Moltres back in. Um, we can activate, like, allow them to attack us through Protect. It'll activate our Berserk ability, and we can get um, the Parting Shot caught on or onto the field for the next turn. Unless they do decide to attack into Incineroar here. But, I mean, even if they do... It's still going to be alright. Because we should take it. So I'll get the parting shot. And get the minus one attack. Which is what we need. And then we'll get Cortana into the field. But I mean Cortana is going to be able to take a, a rock fall. No problem. We'll break this ash. But it's still no problem. Like this is why we want it into Moltres. Now we get the Berserk. And the weakness policy. And then. Oh they're not going to go for it. <laughs> <laughs> They're avoiding it. Come on. Come on. We wanted the plus three. That's what we wanted. We'll get our Berserk ability now activated as the week, uh, as the Trick Room ends. So this is going to be pretty clean for us to kind of close up right now. Uh, and we can just Smart Strike and go for a Signature Attack from the Moltres. So the Smart Strike should do... 50, oh, not quite, but this should. Fury Wrath. Not quite enough. Did we get, we didn't get our Berserk, did we? There's a Fire Punch, but I mean, okay. I assumed Berserk was at 50%, but it must be. It must be, you must have to go down to 50% from an attack rather than 50% from weather damage. I wonder if that's like a new mechanic. Um, which is kind of interesting, but now I mean, like, obviously, the inner focus we can't fake it out or anything like that. But Moltra is going to outspeed it anyway. It could have extreme speed, but we can just go for Flare Blitz Dragonite. More difficult to take down than what I thought. I do like it with inner focus, I think it's probably the better ability uh, than multi scale. Uh, there's so many things in this format that can break um, the multi scale, and then it's kind of redundant. Whereas inner focus continually is useful throughout a battle because of the intimidate immunity. Okay, friends, here is the rental code for the team that we featured today revolving all around that Galarian Moltres. I hope you've really enjoyed the episode and I hope you enjoy the team if you do try it out. Obviously, with the new format starting, it is handy to have a new team available for you just to hop on the ladder with straight away if you're struggling to decide around what kind of teams you'd like to, to play around. Obviously, there's a few things that you could tweak on this team if you want to take some inspiration for yourself and move forward with it. But in general, the team is very solid and a very fun one to begin playing Series 7 with. Uh, Galarian Moltres I think is an incredible Pokemon. Uh, I do think there are things where you could maybe introduce some sort of redirection to support it, especially with the nasty plot, just to give it a little bit more protection there, but I generally don't think you necessarily need it. The other option is to take Stomp and Tantrum off Garchomp and maybe go with Earthquake there. You've got two Flyers on your team, so that is an option. I just didn't want the conflict there if I had Garchomp out next to something like Tapu Fini and that would cause a few issues but other than that, I think the team is pretty nice and I hope you enjoy it. Like I mentioned, if you did enjoy the episode, please remember to drop a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, do make sure that you do hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you don't miss any of these new episodes and new teams that we'll be featuring and putting out over the next couple of weeks, especially with the start of Series 7. We'll be playing with a lot of these new teams, trying to get as many of them out as possible. And uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know how you're finding the new format and what things you are enjoying from it the most. But we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day and I'll speak to you all very soon. So till the next one, bye-bye.